telling people that your restaurant is haunted would likely hurt your business, sure. but certainly not this time of year. No, no. Among the places proudly claiming to be haunted for the Halloween season is the Melting Pot restaurant in Littleton. Photojournalist Andy Buck takes us inside the old library building, better known today for offering fondue, as opposed to anything remotely frightening. My name is Kevin Sanfron. I am the president and founder of Spirit Paranormal Investigations. We showed up at 2 o'clock this morning to go ahead and set up for a formal paranormal investigation of the melting pot. We have four different monitoring cameras, infrared cameras that we use, and we have four microphones that we set that are very sensitive. What we do is um, when we go through an investigation cycle and we do different things like for a certain period of time we'll actually try to just chit chat amongst ourselves and see if we can capture a ghost voice interacting with us or commenting on something in the physical environment. Hey, the little boy that was here telling me it's gonna get her. And then we'll spend about 10 minutes trying to communicate with the spirits in what we call an EVP session. So we'll use our, our digital voice recorders to try to capture those spirit voices actually answering a question. How old are you? We're constantly being skeptical and analyzing our data and making sure that it's not something natural, that it is something supernatural before we call it paranormal. I've worked here nearly five years at the Melting Pot. No, completely skeptic, just like the majority of people. And then I came in and I had my own experience. And from there I started asking management. And then all of a sudden, all the stories came out of the closet, so to speak. We have captured evidence throughout the building, but the basement appears to be the most active part of the building. And in particular, the annex room down there with the kind of the rocks on the wall back in the catacomb area of the basement. We've captured a lot of voices. We actually have heard disembodied voices in that room. Hey, the voice. I'll be there. Melting Pot is one of our favorite haunts. It has a lot of rich history. Why we believe it's so haunted is because of the natural EMF or electromagnetic field that is throughout this building. We believe that that energy actually helps the ghosts and allows them to manifest or interact with the physical world. I like the ghosts. <laughs> I think they definitely help out during Halloween a little bit especially for the kids. They love that stuff. What I tell skeptics is we could talk about this all day. We could show you our evidence all day long, but you're never going to believe it unless you actually go ghost hunting. When you do capture that first electronic voice phenomena or spirit voice, then you'll know for sure that this is real. All right, if you're looking for something to do this weekend for Halloween, we've got lots of ideas for you on Metro Mix. Metro Mix Halloween Guide has a ton of ideas for you. Log on to MetroMix.com. They have over 40 Halloween parties, events, haunted houses, pumpkin patches, costume shops, costume ideas, whatever you can think of. I'm sure you can find it there. There you go. Yeah. We'll speak live with someone evacuated from that soccer complex in Arapahoe County right after this. This next, we'll be back at 9 and 10. See you then. The 9 News Networks, where news comes first. Get the latest news anytime, anywhere with our 9 News iPhone and Droid apps.